Um, yeah, as you guys know, I don't typically make videos the day of. Videos are many, many days later. But this just broke. It is a company called Sweet Baby Inc. You might be like, why does this have to do with magic? Wait until you wait until we figure out why exactly Magic the Gathering is the way it is. So CEO Kim Blair made it abundantly clear the company wants to erase white male lead characters while the company's employee, Maya Kramer, expressed her disdain for white people. Now, many of you will say, oh, well, this doesn't matter, right? I mean, who is this company? Well, one of their clients is Wizards of the Coast. Let me read you some tweets from their employee and you tell me if this is resonating with you. So at Lego Butts, which is their employee, I'm a sucker for warrior wear, so I bought Peter Panic. Also, I don't know why games featuring human characters are still so white and male. Pay me to shoot down your white male lead game ideas. Looking around the mixer last night put into perspective just how white and male our dev scene really is. It's really white and male. Had a nightmare that I was a white male gamer. I usually get grossed out when straight white rich kids kiss, but even I think those two are pretty cute. And in 2020, 2012, she said, this is again her words, not mine, abort all the Jews. So this is the person currently managing or currently on the team of, of Sweet Baby Inc., which makes all the lore and material for Magic the Gathering. Now, um, in addition to this, um, there is actually an app, and they want to report the creator since he loves his account so much. They're basically using cancel culture to get people banned. Um, that is pretty uh, interesting. At the time of Kindred's call to ban Kerbutris and target the stream curator list, the list only had 20,000 followers at the time of the writing. The list has 121,000 followers. The list includes 15 games, Neo Cab, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Afterlove EP, Golf and Night, South... Uh, so they make also video games. So they have some really, really large clients, right? Alan 2, Gods of War, Ravnica, The Crew, Motofest, Marvel, Spider-Man 2, Lost Your Marbles, and so on. And uh, Wizard of the Coast is one of their clients. Um... Yeah, uh, that is pretty uh, amazing to me. Um, so this thing is kind of exploding online right now. There are other people covering it, obviously, in the gaming network. Uh, you, when your employees feel this way about, um, I mean, that's pretty interesting. Uh, I'm going to read you some comments. Never thought I'll say this, but thank God for Twitter and X. So many hateful people impulsively show their true colors on that site. Now that Elon Musk has purged Twitter of all its activist employers, or at least those with major influence in various operations, were free to demask their users further through pushback. Yeah, I mean, this is the same thing. You know, in Magic the Gathering, we had the cancellation queen, as she would call herself from Magic Mike's, right? I already forgot her name. Oh, Aaron. Her name was like Aaron something. Um, it was a individual who was trans they them and she really relished canceling mostly males. And she actually had a tweet like, but it turned out that she was super racist. And even Magic Mike's like, you know, they ignored a topic. And she was actually incredibly racist against African Americans. So this person who was all about pride and justice and, you know, all this hoopla, it turned out all to be fake because she wasn't really about love and kindness. And she actually was like very famous for being a very obnoxious dredge player. Now, there's many, many recounts of people where she like basically violently quits and froze the protests. And if you 
beat her, then it's unfair. And she's no longer involved. Erin Campbell, that was her name. She's no longer involved in Magic at all. She was a huge name in Magic at all. I think was a coach of promoting the hell out of her. And now, um, now Erin Campbell is uh, nowhere to be found and not no longer on the scene. If you type in Erin Campbell MTG, you're, you'll see what I'm talking about. It was pretty crazy. You know, it was absolutely insane in my opinion um like one day she was here the next day she was yeah she was fe featured on magic the gatherings official website multiple times i'm looking at this um she was the queen of dreads and she was this and that and uh but when cancel culture came for aaron it came for aaron really really i mean, let me read you this at wizards magic at cool stuff inc at alter sleeves at car hoarder Black people have been trying to tell you for years they are uncomfortable in your game and you keep saying your events are safe and welcoming for everyone so do a solid and finally come get your girl. At Michelle Tate. But for me, it's usually African American guys who get off being called the N-word or referring to themselves as that. It's not like any of this has been a secret either, just an uncomfortable truth for many, too many of you. Yes, he was... um. She was, you know, the the leader of like this movement of fairness and equality, and then it turned out she was the, the most racist of all of them. And and now, or the game Magic: The Gathering, it turns out is being run by people who, um, at the very least, have disdain for uh, have massive dis and this at Lego Butch sh should not be working at this company or any company involved in Wizard of the Ghost. Yikes, man. Yikes.